Hey guys, it's Ben from BBIP Tech here, and today I'm going to be showing you the zoom controller, how it works, how to enable it, and some nice little tricks with it. So let's get started. So first off you can see on my screen I've got this little joystick. That's the zoom controller. And if you press on it once, just touch on it, it brings up the zoom menu. You can change between window and full screen zoom. You can change your color filter if need be. Hide the controller and just using the bar across the bottom you can zoom in and out. Now I don't find that very handy but what I do is you can double tap on the thing and it zooms in and out and then just using touching on the little controller move your finger and you can zoom around the screen. So nice and easy way to get around without having to have three fingers on the screen at a time. Now to quickly zoom in and zoom out you can press on it once then hold and slide your finger up and down the screen to zoom in and out. Double tap to get back out. Now if you've got a device that has the 3D touch capabilities like a 6S Plus like I have, it makes the zoom controller so much better because you can 3D touch anywhere with the controller and quickly zoom in. You don't need to double tap to zoom in and use three fingers on the screen to move around. You've got one finger lightly on the screen just moving around which makes it really quick to look around your phone for instance quickly looking at a text message a notification instead of having to use three fingers zoom in and out it can become a nightmare this is just so quick and easy one of my favorite things to use the zoom controller for is actual physical items say you need to check the expiry date on your food or read an envelope there are buttons on your TV remote, whatever it may be. Even if you're out at dinner and you want to quickly scan through the menu instead of having to get someone else to read it or the old way of taking a picture, going into your camera roll, filling up your camera roll with all these screenshots of things is go into the camera with the 3D touch. It's nice and smooth to read what you need to read. Don't have to worry about pinching in, moving the camera around because it gets out of focus. It just becomes really annoying. Now I know there is a magnifier option in the accessibility, but I prefer to keep the triple tap uh, to turn voiceover on and off quickly, just because that's my personal preference. So I find having the, the zoom controller a much better way around that. Okay, so finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to enable and disable the zoom controller. There's two ways you can do it. The first and the easiest is three finger triple tap on the screen will bring up the zoom controller menu. You can just click on the bottom option to hide it. And if you want to enable it, three finger triple tap again. The other option for the first time is you can go into settings under general, then accessibility. Now it's under the zoom section and in the middle you can see show controller. Once you toggle that on you'll also get the idle visibility. Now what that will do is you can see on the screen the zoom controller has gone transparent whereas once you touch it it goes to black again so you can see where it is. You can play around with the percentage. I like to keep it quite low so I can just see it on the screen when I need it but it's not impacting on web pages or in the middle of games. So that's a zoom controller. I hope this was helpful for some people. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any requests for other accessibility videos, leave them in the comments below. Or if you have any other questions about the zoom controller, also leave them down below. You can find me on Twitter in the links in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.